Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today we're going to be growing sprouts and I am going to share the process with you. We're using this product called Food to Live and it contains four different seeds, broccoli, clover, alfalfa, and radish. We also have this sprouter. It is very old. It belongs to my mother, but it still works. It's made out of this acrylic material and there are three trays and each of them are ridged. And then the bottom tray is a container tray that holds all the water after you have rinsed all of your seeds. So I'm gonna show you how that works. It works pretty well, but we did run into a problem that I'll share with you a little bit later on. All right, so now it's time to prepare our seeds and I'm using three tablespoons of seeds. So basically one tablespoon for each of those trays. And you wanna add enough water so that all the seeds are submerged because they are gonna swell up overnight. We're going to cover them and leave them for about 12 hours and you can see that they've absorbed a lot of the water and they're all swelled up and ready to transfer into our sprouter. Now before we transfer them, we do want to rinse them thoroughly. Now I'm using a strainer that wasn't a good idea actually because the strainer was too large and some of the seeds went through. So I think a fine mesh strainer would work a lot better than this. So we are rinsing them thoroughly, and that is the trick to getting some really good sprouts, is that you wanna make sure that you rinse them well and often. So now we're just distributing those sprouts onto the three layers of our sprouter, and then we want to arrange our trays so that the drain is on opposite sides. And this is gonna be important when we rinse our sprouts. So we're gonna cover that up and leave it for about 12 to 24 hours. You wanna be rinsing these two to three times of a day. So about 36 hours later, you can see that they are just barely beginning to sprout. We're going to be rinsing them often. I won't be showing you every time that we rinse them, but you still want to be rinsing them two to three times a day for the best quality sprouts. It's important that they do drain thoroughly and you can see that our sprouter had a little bit of trouble getting it to drain from layer to layer, but it is working. You can see that water coming through and then it rinses the next level and then it drains into the third level so that each level is being rinsed and drained and then the very last compartment just holds all the rinsed water. Now this system works pretty well, but it does leave a little bit of water on each layer. And so ultimately it wasn't the best way to grow these sprouts. It would have been fine if I had tipped each layer into the next a little bit more to make sure that there was no residual water. So this is what it looks like a couple of days later. You can see that they're, they're swollen, they're sprouting, but we still have a couple of days to go before we can eat them. So about three days later, they're looking really good, except I am questioning whether that is mold or not. Now, if this happens, and you can see that there is some residual water here, you don't have to worry. You can also give them a thorough rinse and let them dry out, and sometimes that solves the problem. And you can see that four days later, they are looking really good. They're nice and green at the top, and they are ready to eat. And because we dried them out a little bit, all of that, what looked like mold, went away. So if you don't wish to eat them right away, you can always just take them out of the trays and store them in the refrigerator before you add them to salads or sandwiches. Now this mix ended up being a little bit too spicy for us. I think the radish kind of overpowered the flavor of the other sprouts. So in the future, we probably will just go for a single blend. So if you wanna see some of the other projects that we are doing with this spring nature unit, you can tap on the screen right now. And if you wanna see what we're up to on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.